Alright, hey guys, thank you for checking out this video tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a free forums using Simple Machines Forum. Uh, what we're going to be doing is going to 00webhost.com, signing up, and using the account to host all our files. So go ahead and click sign up. I'm not going to sign up because I already have an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in. I blur all that information so that you can't see what my how long my password is and all that stuff. So I'm just going to do this on my testing site. And I'm going to scroll down to find view FTP details. From here this is all the information that we need to use. So either download Smart FTP or FileZilla, whichever FTP client you prefer. Um, download and install whichever. I use FileZilla. I'm going to go ahead and open it. As soon as that loads, you can go back to the 00 web post and copy and paste all the information into the spots at the top. And port is not required, so hit quick connect. And now we are logged into the FTP place. So make sure you put inside the public underscore HTML folder or else it won't show up on your website. So now let's go to the Simple Machines website. Uh, I'll have this download one instead of navigating through all that stuff. You can just come to this link and just click um, download SMF uh, 1.18 full install zip is what we want. And it should load. I want to save the file. And it'll scan for its own viruses, blah, blah, blah. And right here, I'm going to double click on it. And as soon as this opens up, I'm going to extract to desktop. Yep, that's fine. And let it do its thing. Alright, now that it is done extracting to the location, we can go ahead and open up FileZilla, refresh on the left hand side, and look for that folder that we extracted to, which is on my desktop. And right there, I'm just going to double click inside it again and select everything and drag it into the public underscore HTML folder. On zero zero web post. Now it's got to do all 1,200 or 1,100 something something selling files. So um, we're just going to pause it and continue when it's done. So now uh, we have uploaded all the files. We can go to our domain and we have to put in all our FTP details. So if we go back to our members area, oops, go where all your FTP information is copy and paste all the host name, the username, and password into this. So everything that you put into FileZilla you have to put into the Simple Machines form. Oops, right here. And now what's this stuff for? You have to make them so that when this is installing it has to be able to edit the files when it's doing it. So every file that's on here you have to go into FileZilla and uh, look for it. So attachments, right click on it, file permissions, and change it to 777. So do that for every file that's on this list here. So if it doesn't have a dot whatever, that's a folder. So package and install list. I didn't do that one. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Well, obviously I don't want to do that one because it's not. Oh, packages. Packages, inside packages, and install.list make that 777. Oops. So okay. So now all those files should be done, fill in all the information, click connect. Don't want to remember. Alright, so now we can name it whatever we want. Can type. Uh, I'm sure that's fine. Actually we can't have actually yeah, that's it. Dot com. Sure, sure, sure. Whichever one you want. Sure. Now SQL server settings. Now go to your 00 web host, go to your account, click go. Go down to find software and services, click MySQL, and make a new database. Type in all your information here that you want, it doesn't really matter. I have one here, so I'm just going to copy and paste it. Host name, oops, that's not the host. This is the host. Username is 
this. Password is database name and the table prefix doesn't really matter, just leave it as that and click proceed. Uh, no for the Alright, now I make an account, we'll just name it admin password and email address. Um, MySQL database password, just to make sure you have to type that in again and click finish. Now um, your installation has come been completed. You can get help if you want it, and good luck. Okay, so now if we go to our website, it should take us straight to the form. And there it is. So now to get rid of this major security risk, we have to remove the install.php. So go to FileZilla, scroll down here, install PHP, click delete. And yes, and it's gone. And now I refresh this because that's all gone. Now to edit um, your forums, what you have to do is go into the admin CP, and this is where you change everything. Okay, so um, form boards. And you can change them all, add a board, whatever you want to say. Category, general category, order. I don't know, it doesn't matter. New board. Wow, I can't type. Poop. Sure, everybody can be in there. Normal. Moderators, whoever, if you have any moderators. And then click add board <coughs> start a shutdown in progress I don't even know what that means but um, there you go now there's a new one in there so we go back home should see there it is compact FOR so um, thanks for watching um, if you need any questions just put a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible read five stars favorite it all that bumble and jumbo subscribe to get my latest videos when they come out um, next video how to create another free forum I don't know how I'm gonna do it but there's another ways I'm gonna set it up and all that and um, yeah thanks for watching be sure to read, comment subscribe